Welcome back. I'm on the attack with the Nintendo News, and my name is Zach. So good morning, Mario, and good morning, Switch fans. We got a lot to cover, a lot to talk about, and some exciting updates that bode well for the future of Nintendo Switch docks and beloved game franchises. So what's going on everyone? Like I said, it's Zach from Switch Force. Thanks so much for being here. Hit that like button if you enjoyed these videos and on with the show, Mario and Luigi. Two iconic brothers. I love them, I respect them. I miss their games. No, not Mario Odyssey. No, not Mario Kart. No, not Luigi's Mansion, but straight up Mario and Luigi. Alpha Dream made some phenomenal Mario and Luigi RPG series that were quite possibly the funniest games Nintendo ever released and maybe even better in some ways than Paper Mario at their peak. Now, Alpha Dream has filed for bankruptcy a couple years back. 2019, they were kaputs, which sucks because they didn't get to make a Switch entry. Their last game was Bowser's Inside Story, sort of a remastered version for a deluxe version, I guess, for 3DS. But they made a bunch of really good partners in time, Bowser's Inside Story and just straight up Mario and Luigi, which were awesome, awesome RPGs on the handheld systems. Now, Nintendo, they're starting to prioritize RPG a little bit more. They brought back Super Mario RPG last November. They're bringing back Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, a true Paper Mario, not like a goofy one, a true one in May. And now they're asking questions about Mario and Luigi to Nintendo Switch owners. They sent out a survey asking about Mario and Luigi, the RPG games, the characters, and the concepts of the game. And it seems like maybe they're testing the waters for a new title. Now this would be phenomenal in my opinion. It's one of the franchises that Nintendo like, I don't think they get a ton of recognition or love for, but it flies under the radar as like, this is quality product. It was a handheld only series in the past, never seen a home console debut, could it happen? I'd love to get this one on the freaking Switch and maybe, just maybe, Mario RPG being a remake and Paper Mario TTYD being a remake, maybe those two games sales as easier, smaller budget projects could help fund a new Mario and Luigi, but they gotta get the team back together. They gotta go bring back some Alpha Dream people, and I believe that they could do so. It sucks that Alpha Dream filed for bankruptcy, but I think those games were still pretty successful, and I'm sure with Nintendo's support and their new piles of money, they could definitely make it happen. Are you a fan of Mario and Luigi? Do you like Fawful? What's the, what's the, the Fawful's like the, the sidekick villain, what's the, Cackletta. Great names, great villains, and then I like being inside Bowser's belly. I liked Partners in Time, where they were all sleepy in Luigi's dream world. Awesome concepts, awesome games, great RPG, active time battle type combat. I love them, and this makes me even more excited for Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, which got a new trailer. Finally, some new footage. Peach is sending a letter saying, I'm coming to Rogue Port Mario. Bring me flowers, or at least bring me some cool RPG moves. That game is out. Well, still like a month and a half away, but I'm very excited for it. We got a few seconds of new footage. Hey, I'll take anything I can get. And it's sort of interesting because they're doling out new trailers for Paper Mario, for Endless Ocean, and we're kind of just really just getting the, the next couple months lineup out there and clearing the slate for whatever Nintendo has next. Now, what they might have next is an improved dock because a patent spilled out that shows Nintendo with a rotating dock mechanism that I think is pretty nifty. And I like that Nintendo is even thinking on this level because oftentimes I think people get the idea that Nintendo misses the small stuff, right? Like they get the big stuff, the big picture, right? They make cool systems, they make great games, they've got good controllers, like players love Nintendo. Nostalgia is huge with them. They come out with consistent quality releases, but sometimes they skip over the, the, the small stuff that really makes a difference. Like for a long time, they skipped over the online ecosystem and making that a smooth and enjoyable experience. Some might argue that the eShop is still a pile of mess and needs a lot of work, but they've definitely improved. And one thing that they're doing here in this patent is a dock that can rotate the side in which the USB and the cords all go into the dock. So right now the dock has to be entered from left to right. You gotta plug in your AC adapter, your power brick, you gotta plug in your HDMI, you gotta plug in all that stuff. And now it would be rotatable, which is freaking sweet. I think this would be a great upgrade and it's something that maybe we could see in the Switch too. We don't really know what the dock is going to be like for the next Nintendo console. We've talked a lot about the system, the screen size, the controllers, the games, the graphics, but will the dock itself change? Will the dock be more than just a plastic shell? Will it have some sort of internal boost? Will it do anything different or will it just be the same dock and it's the Switch body that is going to be getting the under the hood upgrades? We don't know, but maybe this is a sign of what's to come or maybe not. 
Remember that Nintendo puts out patents like this, it usually means that they're not going to use it. When we see a patent go public, it most likely means it's something Nintendo has considered, Nintendo has developed, Nintendo wants to keep in their back pocket, but Nintendo isn't going to use. But I do think this is a small but mighty feature upgrade, and whether they use this specific rotating cord attachment or not, I do hope that Nintendo does put in effort to make the Switch 2 a stronger superior system in every way that goes beyond just the graphical capability, the performance power of the actual hardware itself. It goes to the controllers, it goes to the design, and it goes to, yeah, the dock. So I do hope Nintendo upgrades the dock, but I would not put money on Nintendo upgrading the dock in this specific way, because again, from my experience and from what we know, when we see a Nintendo patent come out, it's not gonna come out. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? But I do think this is a good idea, and you know, it would make putting it in different cabinets, different sides of the TV, different places a little bit easier. And hey, Nintendo optimizing efficiency, optimizing ergonomics, that is a great sign for where they're thinking and what they're envisioning for their future consoles. We really need more of that from Nintendo. They can become ultimate if they have great games, strong hardware, and fan-friendly UI, fan-friendly online, fan-friendly interfaces, and physical hardware. I'm telling you guys, I really believe the Switch 2 is going to somehow, some way, be even better and more successful and more awesome than the Switch 1. It might not happen, but it's just my prediction. I think people are underestimating and sleeping on what Nintendo can do with seven extra years of development time to make an even better version of the first hybrid console. Remember, they did it first, before Steam Deck, before ROG Ally, before any of those things. They made a hybrid console, and now they get to see all that's happened since and do it again. I think the Switch 2 is going to blow your minds. I also hope that something this summer blows our minds. As we wait for a Nintendo Direct, an Indie World, a console announcement, something, at least Ubisoft is on the map. They've stated that their UB Forward presentation, basically Ubisoft Direct, is going to be on June 10th this summer, live from Los Angeles. There won't be an E3 to attend or an E3 to watch, but there will be a Ubisoft Forward, and it should have some good Switch stuff, maybe even Switch 2 stuff. Whether it's said to be Switch 2 or not, some of the games that are announced could inevitably come to the Switch system, and one that's being rumored is a new Prince of Persia. You might be thinking, wait, what? I already played that game, or I already want that game. No, not The Lost Crown. Yes, The Lost Crown came out in January. It's phenomenal. They're dropping DLC throughout the year, including a story expansion later in 2024, but there are rumors of a new Prince of Persia roguelike game that's being worked on by developers from Dead Cells which sounds freaking sick. I love what they do with Prince of Persia, and if they can bring back the P.O.P. franchise in a really bold way by introducing just like, hey, all these cool genres, Metroidvania, roguelite, like Prince of Persia is perfect for that, and I think it is, we could be eaten, my friends. This game has not been shown off yet. It has not had any like rumored title or screenshot or any leak, but there is these rumors and leaks that, hey, they are working on this and it is something that could debut at Ubisoft Forward along with, you know, the traditional fanfare from Ubisoft. They're showing off Star Wars Outlaws next week. That will not be on Switch, but it should be at Ubisoft Forward and maybe there'll be something else for Nintendo Switch. I think they do well with their Switch exclusives. I think they do great with their Switch ports. So I do hope Ubisoft continues their support of the Switch for the remainder of 2024 and into the next generation in 2025. So mark your calendars for June 10th. Hopefully we know more from Nintendo by that time. It would be great to get a double dose, an April Direct, and some sort of June reveal, whether that's just more gameplay, a game-specific Direct, or a hardware reveal. We haven't really had a game-specific Direct in quite a while, have we? There's not been anything sort of big enough to command a game-specific Direct, but I'm waiting for it. Still just TBD on what's going down in April, but we're early in the month, so do not lose faith, do not lose hope. I've seen some people say like, oh, already the first week of April is done. No direct, no presentation, nothing's happening. They put out the Paper Mario trailer. They put out the Unless Ocean trailer. No Nintendo Direct, but I don't think that means that at all. If anything, it means they're clearing the way for a Nintendo Direct. They're putting out these little bite-sized trailers that would get overshadowed in a Direct so that they can drop the big guns when they bring out you know, Metroid Prime 4 or whatever else they have to announce. So let me know what you think in the comments down below about a new Prince of Persia roguelite on Switch. Would you play two Prince of Persia games in one year? And how do you feel about the return of Mario and Luigi? Would you welcome that with open arms? Do you think Nintendo should invest the money from RPG and Paper Mario into Mario and Luigi to sort of re just invigorate the RPG Mario side franchises? Or do you want them to stick with Paper Mario and maybe develop a sequel to Origami King or a new entry altogether? Let me know your take. In the meantime, 
Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. I love you lots. Switch Force, out.